Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is your monthly reading. Let us see what is happening towards you, Sagittarius. What is the message that is meant for you to know, ready for you to know? This is for the Sagittarius sign. Thank you so much, guys, for coming back. Thank you, guys, for being here. Yes, viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, I invite you to check out the description box below. And um, in the description box below, you'll find the details of the website. The website will have the products and the services that um, we offer outside of the YouTube platform, okay? So, Sag, let's see what's coming towards you. What is the message for you guys? What can I get for Sagittarius, please? Okay, this is your reading. What is the monthly collective reading for you? We will pick up love, career, finance, and general situation message for you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to click the bell. Don't forget to click subscribe. And this is for Sagittarius. Let's see what's coming towards you. What can I get for Sag? Let's look at your overall energy. What's the overall energy for Sagittarius, please? What's the overall energy for Sagittarius, please? What's the overall energy for Sagittarius, please? Full month reading, collective reading. Okay. That's a lot of cards. Ten of Swords. Um... If there has been a lot of complicated people, person, situation, that is coming to an end, okay? Um, the Ten of Swords, you're entering a month or a cycle, Sagittarius, where you can really say uh, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, okay? Uh, I'm really feeling a very good vibe about your next four weeks or the full month. Uh, reading for you Sagittarius I feel such a brave energy looking into the ten of swords it is as it is as if you feel like you are a survivor okay uh I would say the worst part of this year it's it's done it's finished and the next four months for you is all about achievement all about success all about reaping the rewards and all about offers that um will come your way and offers that will will stay okay um it's been a difficult you know seven eight months for you you are entering a new cycle where where people and offers uh they're willing to stay in your life okay this is a very um i'm feeling like you will discover a lot about yourself you will discover a lot of new offers and also returning offers from the past and your feelings towards returning offers or people it is totally different from when you um when you face the same offer or the same person again so something has changed within you sagittarius okay you will know it once you have faced the person or the re-offer okay then swords okay now, picking up more intuitive message for you, Sagittarius, you have the Five of Pentacles in here. Um, Five of Pentacles, this is about, um, I would say, someone has left you or there is a feeling of abandonment. Like, you were, you were forced to leave or you were no... You were forced to leave or you have no choice but to leave something, someone behind, okay? Uh, there was a situation where you feel like, I have no space, I have no future, I have nothing in here. So, you have removed yourself from a situation, from a person. Now, this feeling of you removing yourself because you don't have a future, um... It seems to be, there is a Mercury retrograde. It seems to be you will touch base with the same subject matter, with the same person, with the same situation, okay? The person you have excluded, like you have taken yourself out of the situation or connection because you know, I have no future, I have to get out of here. Now, it seems to be it's working, you know, the Wheel of Fortune, 
it seems to be have moved on. They have moved on. It seems to be you and this person somehow have already completely separated ways. Somehow, with the Knight of Wands, there is a growing interest again this month. Okay. Um, let's see who is the Knight of Wands in here. You might unexpectedly bump into this. Like you might unexpectedly bump to this person. Okay. Let's look at the Knight of Wands. But I'm seeing like you were separated together but somehow the universe will bring you back again uh for one last time yeah ace of wands i feel like uh this is around mercury retrograde mid month to the end of this month where you are something is going to be brought to life again it could be a relationship it could be an offer it could also be an ambition but there is something that would bring you back to somebody, to someone, okay? Or to a situation. Let's say Ace of Wands in here. Let's look at the outcome. Let's look at the advice. Yeah, look at that, the Sun card. You will face the same person, the same offer. The same person, the same offer that rejected you. You will face them again. Um probably around the full moon Mer I think the Mercury retrograde will start mid of this month and then there is a full moon right about that time you will given you will be given an opportunity to look at it one last time okay the sun card the ace of wands three of swords yes yes Oh my gosh, sometimes I'm scared with my intuition because I was just about to say it's either you're going to start with it or you're going to totally break up with it because I feel a lot of excitement. I also feel a lot of pain, okay? There's still, there is still, there's still a lot of pain coming from you, coming from them and the equal amount of pain is also the equal amount of excitement. So, it could turn into a stalemate, you know. It's very inconclusive. Yeah, three of wands. I feel like whoever this person is, or whatever situation it is that was bring to life, bring to your looking, like bring, bring, like I'm, I'm getting like I'm gonna bring this to you over to look at it. You know, you're no longer affected. You're still hurt or disappointed, but you're so ready to move on. Um, let's look at. I, I feel like this person is still kind of, you know, somehow three of wands, hermit card. Yeah, regret. Um, what, what else? Eight of pentacles. I feel like you are given a chance to connect with someone, with somebody. The amount of pain and hurt is still there. And the amount of excitement and feelings or love is still there. You know, it's it's fifty fifty. I'm I'm picking up this could fall into a stalemate, a stalemate. Also three of wands. There's a lot of reflection. Like both of you or this situation, you're you're scared to take a risk because you're at you're at a point where you're peaceful and they're okay. You're okay. So it's kind of thinking. It could be the theme of this month where I still have so much feelings for you, and you still have so much feelings for me. But we still have a three of swords. So it could turn into a stalemate. Also, a lot of reflection. I feel like you won't decide this month. And they won't decide this month. But there's still a lot of... There's probably still a space for healing for the for the both of you. I don't think this would be... Um, I don't think this will be the last time. Although I feel like it might be. Because... The attachment with the Three of Swords is still strong. And there's a Three of Wands in here. Let's look at the Three of Swords. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. So, you will be given a chance to reconnect or face the person or situation again. You won't reconcile this month. Because um, there's still a Three of Swords. But you guys will create a tiny space to catch up in the future. And maybe, maybe... When the Three of Swords is gone, you could start all over again. But you guys are in different journey now. Like you, you, you went to a different boat. They went to a different. 
you went to a different journey. You're about to go into a different journey and they're about to go into a different journey. It's a feeling of you met in the airport, okay? You met in the airport. You are flying. You met in the airport. You're going into this airplane and they're going to this airplane. It's like goodbye and who knows, see you soon, okay? There's a bit of closure and there's also somehow an open book, an open opportunity for you to say hello in the future. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's that. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is Seven of Pentacles in here. Now, what else is coming for you, Sagittarius, is you've got the Ten of Cups. Hmm. You've got... Um, you know, there's a lot of jealous person around you. I want you to be very, very careful who you connect with. Um, I don't know, but I feel like this month, there is there's some people who would like to bring you down. Yeah. Um, for some of you, you specifically know these people are. For some of you, there's a male and a female who is against you, but you like, you know the female is against you, but the male, you're not sure. So you're playing it kind of, you know, um, playing playing it cool. With the Ten of Cups, wherever you are right now, whatever you're doing, I feel there's a sense of happiness or achievement or contentment that you would get. There's something about September month that it's special. Like, I'm really getting, like, the month of September, there's something that you can say, whew, finally something worked or something click something good okay uh, i could be like there's something good that will happen in september and this male and female two of swords five of swords i would say they're jealous of you i would say they want what you have i don't think they will harm you you know i don't think they could bring you down they will harm you but they can really influence you to feel bad to feel bad about what you have. There is a male and a female that could influence you. Oh, that's oh, that's normal. That's typical. But actually, whatever you're gonna get and whatever whatever you will go, whatever you are going to get, whatever you're going to receive, it's a good thing, it's a good vibe, it's something to be grateful, it's a big achievement. But there is a male and a female who will belittle your achievement or whatever you're gonna have. As a, you whatever you go, whatever you're going to have as a good news, someone will um, downplay it, and you're kind of wondering, are you really my friends or are you really my ally? Because this is something good, and yet you critic it because they're jealous. All they can do is to influence you to make you feel that that's not a big thing, but actually, whatever you're going to get in the month of September, it's actually a big thing. It is a big thing because. It's a feeling of, well, finally, something clicks, something happened, something wonderful happened for you. You know, some people are just jealous. So you could be affected of their comment. You could be like naysayer. You would be affected of them. But yeah, don't let them get into you, whatever this is. It's, a, it's something to be grateful. It's something to feel nice. It's something, it's something that you deserve. And um, it's something to be celebrated. Okay, the Ten of Cups, the Five of Swords in here. Let's look at one more time. Yeah, it's <laughs> it could be a relationship, you know. Maybe some people will criti some people will criticize you about, oh, okay, you're dating now, or is that really what you want? You know, they have a lot of a lot of things to say. There's something wonderful. Yeah, four of cups. They will make you feel that your choice or that thing that you will receive, that thing. That offer, that thing, that situation that you will have, which is a good news. Um, there is a male and a female that I would say would critique it, that would that would make you feel like it's it's small, but actually it's not. They're just jealous of what you have, you know, because you're almost complete. Ten of Pentacles, yeah, Four of Cups. Like they will, they might feel, they might make you feel Sagittarius four of cups oh well it's not a surprise oh, oh it's not special you you know it's gonna happen so yeah so there's a certain yeah and yeah 
and it feels like they don't want to celebrate with you so don't listen to them if you feel like this person is being negative or debbie downer i would suggest to look for another friend <laughs> or share this good news to other people i think it's a friend you know i don't think it's a relative i think it's it's a friend so share it with your share it with you know with relatives because this is something to celebrate with okay let's let's get one more card to, Two, male and female someone is not happy that you move on or like you have a relationship or you've got this money because ten of cups ten of pan yeah look at that juicy like for some of you you will get a relationship and there is two person that would be oh you should do this oh you should do that oh you should they would critic you they would say a lot of things that might feel like they're bringing you down or it's like for the first time, you know, for the first time, you feel so happy because you got this offer or person. And there, and there's this, there's this two person who's criticizing you or finding a mistake or a fault in the relationship or connection, you know, because they're jealous. But actually, whatever you have is, look at that. Whatever you have is a ten of cups, a ten of pentacles, and the lover's card. These are jackpot. And yet, these two people... In your life is looking for faults and issues and error it is as if they don't want to be happy like you have everything you know like i tell you sagittarius if you have this you're almost complete you know like that's why ooh, like there's a feeling of that's the only thing missing in your life for some of you guys and when you have this you're almost like so powerful like you're so powerful when you have this that people will make you under underestimate you and people I don't know, two male and female will critic you, will say something to you to, I don't know, to to kill the vibe, the kill kill joy, yeah. But now, don't listen to them. This is Ten of Cups. This is the lover's card. I mean, this is soulmate and this is money. I mean, you get what you want, exactly. You get what you want, but you feel like you're not getting what you want because of the people around you. So don't listen to them. Listen to your heart. Because the real value is is good. It's really good. Okay? For some of you, I'm also getting like, it's too early to tell. But it feels good. Okay? Now, the last reading is you've got the two of wands. Again, another commitment, another relationship. Hmm. I feel like there is a person unexpectedly. There's a person unexpectedly. They would like to offer a commitment with you. King of Pentacles. They would like to commit with you as soon as possible. Like this is when this person comes along, when this person shows up in your life, they would like to take things in the next level and they want it as soon as possible. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But like, you know, they don't want you to think like this person is like, I don't want you to think so long. Please accept the offer. It's a good offer. And it is, it makes you feel so beautiful, so handsome. It makes you feel, it, it feels like a compliment. Whoever this person is, there is an element of you feel such, you feel an amount of success. Like, yes, you're mine. Yes, I won your heart over. Yes, I'm successful. So there is an offer. It will happen very fast. It's very committed, it's very serious, and it's meant for you. It came back for you, it looked for you, it is for you. It's happening for you. Queen of Wands, like you feel like I'm a queen, or I'm a I'm a king, or a, I'm a queen, I won over. Like it feels like, you know, when there is a duel, you're the prize. For them, you look like a prize. This person makes you feel like a reward, like you're a prize, like a princess, like you're a king or a queen. So you feel so special about the offer. And it's I'm really getting like two vibe. Do we I'm I'm getting two intuitive message, Sagittarius, for the month that you feel so special. Like you feel for the first time this year, you feel so special, you feel so lucky. Like you hope you wish that this would never end. Like if this is well, it's not a dream, but it's it's a feeling like you're in cloud nine. Yeah. It succeeded expectation. It's a feeling, Sagittarius, where it's been like a couple of bad days or bad weeks or bad months. Now, 
the sun is shining into you and it's gleaming. It's sparkling. Yeah, the offer, the person, it's sparkling. It's so sparkly that you could get evil eye or jealous people around you because it's almost perfect. You deserve this, Sagittarius. So something to be, um, something to look forward. So thank you, Sagittarius. It is a pleasure doing the readings, you guys. I hope you like it and I hope you've connected with me. I'll see you soon. You have a great day.